reproduction explanation living organisms produce new individuals of the same species a new generation of species is produced from the existing individuals this fundamental characteristic of living things is known as reproduction for example in the case of animals like birds and snakes young ones hatch from eggs in the case of plants like mango and custard apple seeds from the fruit germinate into seedlings now if reproduction is not an essential characteristic of life like respiration and nutrition then why do living organisms unnecessarily waste their energy in creating new individuals why do they reproduce reproduction is necessary to maintain the number of individuals of a species it is very essential for the survival of a particular species it thereby prevents the extinction of the species now can you define reproduction all living organisms produce new individuals of the same species this fundamental characteristic of living organisms is known as reproduction let us now understand reproduction with the help of an activity activity we observe many plants growing together these plants may or may not be similar what we can conclude from the picture is that only the plants labeled b c and e look similar and are of the same type however plants a d and f differ from plants b c and e and also from one another we can differentiate the plants from their external appearance now do you know why there is a different scene between the plants how has this occurred let us explore this further the importance of variation all organisms belonging to the same species appear similar they create new individuals that also look like or resemble themselves this is very clear from their external morphological features such as the type of leaves the type of flowers etc the genetic material in all living organisms is organized in the form of dna or deoxyribonucleic acid The basic process in reproduction is the creation of a DNA copy. Cells use chemical reactions to create copies of their DNA. During this process, there is a possibility of some form of variation since no biochemical reaction can be absolutely reliable. Hence, the DNA copies generated are similar but not identical to the original parent DNA. now some of these variations can be so drastic that the new dna cannot adjust to the new cellular machinery it inherits on the other hand some of these can actually prove to be beneficial for the new copy of dna let us study the importance of these variations the ecological system undergoes a constant change due to a variety of reasons Some of these changes are beyond the control of the organisms. For example, fluctuations in temperature, water levels, etc., can affect the ability of the organism to survive. If the population of a species was suited to a particular habitat and the habitat is drastically altered, then there is a possibility that the population could get wiped out. Under such conditions, if some variations were to be present in a few individuals of the species, then there would be some chance for them to survive. The individuals adapted to the new environment allow the survival of the species and thus prevent their extinction. Have you ever observed different plants and animals around you? Do they reproduce in the same manner? well when we observe different plants and animals around us 
we find that the method of reproduction differs in different organisms. For example, a mango plant germinates from a seed. But a plant of jasmine shows rooting at the soil level. Again, the grasses creep on the soil level and they even show the presence of roots at the nodes. A banana plant shows the development of young plants near its underground stem. When we observe birds, the hen, for example, reproduces by laying eggs. In case of animals, they produce young ones similar to themselves. Cats produce kittens, while dogs give birth to puppies. Fishes either lay eggs on the water surface as observed in the case of salmon or they give birth to young ones as is observed in the case of blue whales. All these ways of reproduction are unique and characteristic of individual organisms. Let us learn about these different methods of reproduction.